welcome to Major League Spleef, the Shoveler's Cup playoffs live on MBS. We are live in Salina, where the quarterfinal between Salina and Aquamarine Bay is about to take place. This game was originally scheduled for yesterday due to a scheduling mishap. It is rescheduled for today. This is our third televised quarterfinal. Uh, in a couple hours, we're also going to be broadcasting the quarterfinal between Winterside and Peripotamia, so stay tuned for that. And uh, let's go to the game right now to figure out who's going to the semifinals. Oh, Frog asked to move the, like, project. Or event. Event what? Uh, yeah, let's go to project on it. Um, all right. Hey. I'm ready when you are. Let's start the first round. Are you ready? ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. And they are off. Oh, hold on. There you go. team that is noted for its defensive play style, so we'll have to see how this game goes, but there is the potential that this game could go on for a while. Right now we are seeing a, uh, a trench being dug, not quite in the middle of the field, but uh, almost in the middle of the field, and this does look to be a defensive game so far. Neither team making any offensive moves crossing over to the other side. A trench. As our friend Elite Neon would usually say, entrenched in the minds of Major League Spleef players for some time since this season began. And it looks like they're both playing some sort of mind game. Together. And it looks like, uh, someone should attack them. John, it looks like John G is making moves like he's gonna cross over, but then not doing so. Like a, uh, like a taunt to Vicky. They haven't really crossed over their trench yet. So far, still a very defensive game. It looks like they made some and sort of. John G briefly. Oh, and he. Oh. Oh. On the way back. Ah. That is have a, a home set? For Salina. No, okay. Salina is taking a one to nothing lead as we move on into the second round. Are you ready? Ready. John ready. G. Three, two, one, go. And they're off again. And Shut up. Once again, digging a trench in about the same location, still playing the same defensive game. John G with the larger side of the field than Vicky, although that doesn't really matter if neither of them are going to cross over. Uh, and now we are in a standoff. Vicky making moves like she's about to cross over. Jonji's just shifting in place and throwing snowballs. The mind game continues. And Vicky makes the crossover and crosses back. Digs a little bit on John G on the far side of John G's side before returning to her own side of the field. Leaving us basically where we started. Looks like they made some sort of deformed caterpillar. Or maybe it's a bird that's missing one wing. Uh, no, it's a caterpillar with cancer. Obviously. Yeah, looks like... Well, John G is holding a golden carrot in his left hand for some reason, making moves to make it look like he's coming across, but hasn't done so yet. Vicky Post is doing 
about the same thing. Looks like John G is playing a little bit more aggressively than Vicky, but that's not saying much. And looks like that. And John, John G briefly crosses over, heads right back. Crossing over again onto that little part of Vicky's side before crossing back over again to his own side. Making the trench wider with less points to cross over. Looks like there's an island that looks like a hand with an extended index fi finger now. automated snowball dispensing system. I'd say it's a pretty good innovation. I should have made it deeper. And they are still playing very defensively. These hoppers create some lag. But... Once again, I should have made them deeper, but that's just... And yeah, I... well, I mean, yeah, they do create a bit of lag. I, I can mean, turn I did, it off I, if you want. I did the same, like, mistake with the deepness. Well, I could turn them off if they're becoming disruptive. No, it's I could fine. just turn it on after the game. I can, just, I can just turn off my, like, audio for, like, the, the, the block audio. Yeah, I turned down my audio because I knew they'd be clicking. And we are still in a defensive standoff. Vicky crosses over to that part of the field and Is Vicky makes a move try? in John G's direction. Looks like Vicky now on a smaller part of the field. Okay, this is getting, and that's a point for Salina. Ugh. Salina leads 2 to 0 for their home game in the quarterfinal. And we move on to. Actually, let me check the time. Uh, yeah, there's still about 45 seconds left until the same, so are you ready for the third round? Yeah. Ready. Three, two, one, go. And of course, the save's gonna come up in about 30 seconds, and uh, the reporters can really only say one thing. When the save happens, just run. Basically, when the save happens, you want to not just stand still, or else the other person will just dig below you and you'll lose. But yeah, as long as you move locations, you're fine. All right, right now okay. the field looks nice. like a weird fish. Like, uh, it looks like a Y. The letter Y, like. Oh, Up, safe. And there's the save right there. Up, oh, giving John G the opportunity to cross over. Looks like Vicky crossing back over to the side John G was just on, so they've effectively just swapped sides of the field with John G with the smaller side and Vicky with the larger side. John G's side is also split directly in two. Who's punching the snow? Nobody is. It's like it's one snow block push. right there that's being punched. Oh, I see that on my screen. Is there a vanished mod here or something? Or is that just some glitch? It's probably, it's probably just, that's a, just, it's just glitch. glitch. Yeah. Can you like destroy it, please? It's distracting. Which one? Um, basically like right there. Make make this like a T. It's right there. Okay, thanks. All right. Um, still a defensive standoff right now. Looks like I had to go recreate my air sitting setup. Oh, Vicky getting a little bit close to John G, and then backing off again. 
Uh, for viewers on MBS, I have to get the cord to plug in my phone, so I'm just going to train the camera like this. Vicky Posa continuing to run around on her side. John G is just looking, but not really moving that much. The save has just completed, which means the end of that lag. Vicky Posa threw a few snowballs at John G, probably to provoke reaction. He's moving around now, but still no real aggressiveness yet. Selena, of course, is currently leading 2 to nothing, and if they take this one, this will be a formidable lead. They'd be looking to get ahead on this match before the second ma game of the series happens in Aquamarine Bay at Caverna Calda. Selena doing pretty well so far, and it's a home game for the quarterfinal. A reminder to our viewers, the quarterfinals are a best of three series, so if the same team wins the first two games, that is it. However, if the series is split, there will be a third game, and the winner of that game decides the winner of the quarterfinals. And we do have one more quarterfinal to broadcast, that is at 7 p.m., GMT after this game. That will be between Winterside and Parapatamia. Join us live for that. Don't you mean Parapalatmia? Yes, Parapalatmia. Parapatamia, Parapatmia, Utopia or Utopia -ry. Looks like there's only a couple crossing points across the pretty wide trench at the moment. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's actually going to be a crossing before an islanding happens. Well, it looks like... We're down to... No, it's still technically three crossing points. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We still got about three crossing points uh, between one side of the field and the other. The question is, is no, no, it's two. The question is, will they try to come across or? Looks like Vicky might have been gearing up to cross over at that other side, but she will not. Both down to two, and now it's an official islanding, which means that we are going to have a drawn round. And the field resets for the first time this game. Uh, there still needs... okay. Alright, the fourth round. Are you ready? Ready. You did. Three, two, one, go. Once again, have a big trench, uh, sort of, sort of in a crescent shape, with uh, John G on the larger outside of the crescent, and Vicky on the smaller inside. John G makes an offensive move into Vicky. Oh my shape. gosh! John, John G, G starting almost starting to play more offensively against Vicky, forcing Vicky into retreat. Vicky is doing what she can to avoid John G. She gets herself on her own little island in the corner. John G is starting to play offensively right now. There were a few close calls there, weren't there? Probably, yeah.
You can hear the clicking of the dispensers cheering on the players as John G crosses over again. And it looks like now we've got a bit of a help. John G is trying to play aggressively right now. Vicky is doing what she can to ward him off, and it does seem to be working at the moment. But John G is still coming, and that's uh, a point for off uh, Green Bay. A successful offensive move by John G gets him on the board. This game will not be a blowout. Ready? Ready. Ready for the sixth round. Three, two, one, go. You know, technically I shouldn't allow John G to eat anything that's not a stack of steak or pork chops. I mean, in the rules it says it's anything but mine? golden apple. I'm fairly sure gold, that golden, golden carrots don't... I don't think golden carrots give you anything, any special abilities or whatnot, so... No, they don't. They just have quite high saturation. I mean, even golden apples, I think, would be fine, because it's like, it doesn't really matter what your health, what, what your... It doesn't really matter if you have health regeneration in the spleef game. Like, uh... Realistically, yeah, the rules are the rules are there not to trip people up, but just to try to make things fair between the teams. The only allowed food should be cake. If you need to eat, you need to place down a cake. Yeah. Yes. That would be Real amazing. Change. If you're still hungry later, you have to come back for it. Now in stereo. And it looks like, uh... We are in a bit of a standoff right now. Up as John G starts to make some moves. Basically got Vicky backed in a corner there. He's sort of removing one path between... It looks like John G... He's basically islanding her at this point. Just... Uh, Vicky still, uh... Vicky's getting game. out to that corner of the field. And we've returned to oh and that's gonna be an official island by Vicky. So it looks like it's going to be another field reset. Great. Defense Wait. the meta. It is still a 2 to one right? game in favor of Selene. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it looks like Oxton and HVT are in the other chat. And we've got the, uh, the same starting positions as last time. Same type of trench, same location. And same relative position with John G on the bigger side of the field. Now this has start- this has been a largely defensive game, but in the last few rounds, John G has started to play more offensively, and he did manage to score a point in doing that. But right now it looks like... Ooh, and Vicky makes a crossover. It looks like they are still playing defensively at the moment. And John G makes an offensive move, crossing over towards Vicky. Ooh, that was a close call there for John G as Vicky retreats over to that side of the field. Another close call for Vicky Posa. Oh. Oh, and we've got- Oh! oh my gosh! Oh, oh, that was a- that- And that's another point. The game is tied. A successful offensive move by Aquamarine Bay ties the score at 2-2. Two to two. Ready? Ready. Three. Two. One. Go.
And a little bit of a trench, but they're playing offensively so far. It looks like John it looks like John G is the one who's playing more offensively. Uh Vicky playing defensively to try to counter John G's moves. But uh John G really trying to make Vicky feel like she's backed in a corner right now. As he makes a move like he's about to jump over, but backs down. Digging out some of the snow. Vicky crossing over there as they uh, make that part of the field impassable. Looks like there's like a bit we're of having but... a bit of server side lag right there, but it looks like it's resolved. Uh, Vicky is Vicky to her back over in the corner where she was. As she starts to dig small holes in the snow, trying to make the terrain between her and John G a little bit more treacherous. John G is now throwing snowballs, and so is Vicky. And John G just threw a snowball at the camera. She's throwing snowballs at the official for some reason. So we are in a defensive standoff right now as both teams are throwing snowballs at each other, at spectators, at the referee, and at the media. Screw everyone. Vicky Tori is now AFK. Well, clearly she just, she just turned her head. She isn't AFK, actually. I take it that Vicky is trying to just stay in one place and pretend she's AFK? Vicky marks herself AFK, perhaps as a gesture that she is not moving from that spot. Well, I guess this round is going to last until... And, uh... This is looking like some pretty treacherous terrain between the two. Looks like the save is coming up within a minute. Uh, well, uh, that that's not good. Well, if the save comes hmm. up, that's going to give someone an opportunity. Certainly. And it looks like John G. Looks like he was almost creating an island there, but not quite. And that's an island. Looks like we're going for a field reset now. Obviously that's starting not safe. safe. After... Well, I guess that was a good time. Average TPS M slash A. Alright, let's reset the field now. Can't reach it. <laughs> Thanks. Alright. Okay, ready? Let's go to the seventh round. Three. Janji? Yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Looks like they created a person for a second. Looks like we're seeing a different type of trench than we saw at the beginning of the last few rounds. This is a little bit... Oh, John G making an offensive move towards Vicky. And once again, Entrenched in the mine. Up and Vicky moves out of that corner of the field and into another. John G trying very hard to play offensively, and it looks like we're gonna have another island. Yep, islanding. That is an island, yep. Island feel real set. As uh, Skelly attempts to shoot his bow at the button. Clearly, that didn't work. Round Oops. Nine. Are you ready? Okay, ready. 
Ready. Three, two, one, go. The game is still tied two to two for game one of the quarterfinal. Vicky again in a corner as. And that's a no. point for Salina. Three two. Salina regains its lead and takes match point. Looks like we're gonna be going for a match point, Celina, here in this ninth round. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Celina scores the next point, then Celina will win game one, their home game of the quarterfinal. Looks like we got a bit of server side lag there. And we've been seeing a pattern with the way uh, Vicky and Janji have been playing. Vicky oh, and Janji makes an offensive move towards Vicky. Vicky digging out a trench to defend against it. Janji back in the position he just was in. And Vicky crossing over to the larger part of the field. John G looking like he's going to make an offensive move, but then backing down as they create another division in the field. John G coming in. Oh, that was a close call for both of them right there. Oh, Vicky was really dancing on the edge of death there. Oh, and there as well. Many, there, there were quite a few instances in which Vicky almost fell through, but managed to escape. Yeah, for sure kind of move that uh, Tits and Saki has mastered in their sleep strategy, but uh, Vicky is managing, Vicky has managed to evade uh, John G's offensive move so far in this round. Questo è un gran momento, said Metro Maps SVG. And it looks like the temperature of the game has started to cool down as they get themselves into another defensive standoff on opposite sides of this, tr of this uh, very rough trench. Looks like Vicky Poza standing basically completely still. And they are just standing in place now. They are in they are locked right now in a defensive standoff. This is gonna last ages. We are at match point. If Selena gets the next point, that's the end of game one. And ah! the game is tied three to three. The Aquamarine Bay manages to tie the game again at three to three. Since there is a uh, since there is a rule that you have to win by two, the game is now first to five. So one of them will have to score two more points in order to win game one. Round ten. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. Three, two, one, go. like a bit of server side lag there. Yeah, it looks like John G fell in and for a second. Uh, I would have been really great. Crescent shaped trench. Ooh, John G heading over towards Vicky playing offensively. 
More server side lag. John G is suspended in the air right now. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. It's like we're just watching them teleport around the field. Yeah, the TPS is like um, reducing. It's like 15 TPS in the last minute. That was stressful. <laughs> Hmm. And it's Come on like over, the snow this side snow on this side is warm, John G. It's, well, it's, like it's, 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 it's a trap. The fact that the snow is warm means that it'll melt easier. The snow is colder on this side as well. It's both hotter and colder. Come on. There, there's something for everyone. Well, that reminds me of the, the that XKCG with the middle, at, middle attitude. Why have sunny coasts and snow when you can have a weird yellow mushy thing? Ooh, that's, that's yellow? Yellow? <laughs> well, at least, well, don't eat that. No, that's, that's, Eddie, that's not like that. How long have you been going? What? How long have you been going, Kitty? Uh, broadcast has been on the air for 38 minutes. Alright, that's a pretty long match. Eh, uh, not really for me. Well, it's a pair of Britannia Winter Side Series. Is that 3 o'clock Eastern? We still have an hour. Yeah! Nothing else, we could split this series up. If we absolutely have to. And John G makes a crossover briefly, heads back. And John G is hiding, is running around the corners. Where am I supposed to hide? Uh, yes. There's been like a few no, complaints and I'm like... You could try hiding under the snow. Oh yes, hide under the snow. That sounds like a good hiding spot. Yeah. There's been a few complaints about how um, Kitty's um, volume, mic volume is a bit low on the stream. Well, you know, that's a problem with this cheap, shitty mic that I'm using, so nothing I can really do about that. It's fine for me. Oh. They got close a little bit, but they're not close anymore. We were you know, close, I, my, but now know, we're not. I think my dad. Now that I'm not on yes. the laptop anymore, I should really switch which mic I use, because I think my dad has like a Blue Yeti mic that he doesn't use, so I should probably ask him for that. Now that I'm on a, uh, now that I'm on a desktop, it doesn't really matter how portable the mic is. A standoff. And another defensive standoff. The game is still tied three to three.
How far away is your closest McDonald's? Who are you asking? Everyone. I don't know. I uh, at McDonald's. Not Just very far. About ten minutes by bike. Well, it looks like that the Parapotami Winterside series won't be a worry for today. Oh? Uh, are they canceling it? Oh, God. Oh, huh, are they canceling it? Need yeah, it, it was worth it in time. Uh, John Gee's making an eye on it, looks like. Yep, time for a field reset. Got it. All right, ready. Ready. All right, three, two, one, go. So for our viewers on MBS, it looks like there will not be the uh, quarterfinal today between Winterside and Parapotamia. Uh, who knows when that's going to happen, but uh, whenever it does, we will bring it to you live. play from John G like we were seeing a few rounds ago. John G making a crossover. That's a point three, for two. Salina. Oh, wait, the four, game two. Is now four, four, three. Three. four, three. Four, three. All right. Game is once again at match point for Salina. Oh. Hold on, can I have like a brief timeout? Dog wants to go out. All right. All right. Commercial break. Um, I don't think that'll be long enough for a commercial break. Um, I'll just give a quick recap to our MBS viewers. So, uh, this is the quarterfinal between Aquamarine Bay and Salina. Whoever wins this quarterfinal will go on to the semi-final against Tits and Saki. So it'll be Tits and Saki versus whoever wins this game. Uh, the other semi-final will be quarterfinal winner City State of Catania against either Winterside or Peripotamia, whoever wins that game. And then, of course, the two semi-final winners, ah. welcome back, we'll head to the final. And now back to the game. All right. Match point for Salina. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. Three, two, one, go. And as I previously announced, the uh, Shovelers Cup final, MBS would tentatively like to broadcast on August 1st. Of course, that depends on the availability of the players that have in the finals. But uh, if the Shovelers Cup final is on August 1st, then it will be the first MBS broadcast under our 2020 graphics relaunch. Oh, John G making an offensive move towards Vicky there. John G starting to play more offensively yet again. Oh, close call there. Yeah, after this, can we break up the series? We could do that. You just gotta lose first. 
Well, yeah, so I have to win twice. Three times. The save is complete. Grant, now I'm on the side with the ticking. <laughs> Well, Put the dispenser match, down there. Does this match points to Lina? Still more server lag. When is there not server lag? When nobody's online. Back in 1.12. Well, even 1.13 had a lot less lag, so... I mean, yeah, but... I mean, and 1.13 sucked. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, the, the lag we had in 1.13 was mainly the fault of U cars. Once we got rid of U cars, uh, that lag ended. It was still bad. Thanks for letting me set Cody to. Well, actually, Chief also did, yeah, but I also of, set once we got rid Cody of to there. The server returned to normal in 1.13. It wasn't until we updated to 1.15 that our performance tanked. Yeah, because Monk, because Mojang, those, this, as Volpe would call them, the Swedish skull fucks. So looking forward to that snapshot review finale. Oh yes. Um, oh yeah. It was supposed to be out a few weeks ago, but Volpe has still not finished recording that, so honestly, I don't even know what the status is on that. Thanks for letting me repair my shovel, by the way. Vol Volpe has not even finished recording that, so editing has not even begun for the season finale. Volpe's been busy, I suppose. And we are locked again in a defensive standoff, as this broadcaster has not yet eaten anything today. We're going to be here a while. Yeah. I'm not wanting to go. Well, I'm not wanting to go. I mean, no one didn't, but... We can mutually agree to island if you want, if none of us are going to move. Well, yeah, we could, we could do that. Do you want to do that? Okay, yes, you are. I think there's like that still one still. That's an island. Time for a field reset. Yep, this is an island, and now we're going to whatever round number this is. This is still going to be match points to Lina. Are you ready? Yep. Ready. Three, two, one, go. What even is the purpose of whispering? I'm not sure. How are you, John G? I'm fine. And I'm being haggled by my younger sister. It's 7pm for you, isn't it? I would check my clock, but then you'd try to get me, so... 
I think you could. Uh, I'll let you check. It's seven. Yeah. Your sister is wanting to play on the computer. You said. Wow. You said your sister's wanting to play on the computer. Well, my sisters want me to uh, come to dinner. Ah, I see. Well, if, if we're splitting up the series, I'm gonna try to go back to bed. I have work tonight. I could just suicide her. Do you want to suicide? I, I will. I I am more than willing to let you suicide. Looks like the players are playing mind games with each other at the moment. Go on. No! And that's the ah, game. And I win! Yay! Oh. Salina wins game one oh, well. of the quarterfinals, five to three. There's still the other potentially two games. And now MBS is having internet issues. Wonderful. Um, well, we're going to we're we're end the series. Yeah, we're just going well, to end well, the series right now. Alright. Well, oh, well, we're going to interrupt. Okay. As well, in, we're going to do this uh, next for later. Our viewer, for our viewers on MBS, it looks like the remainder of the series is going to be played out at uh, some other point. Uh, we'll bring that to you live. And of course, the Peripatania versus Winterside game today is cancelled. So, uh, from MBS Sports and Games in Salina, I'm Kitty Catwoman 231. Thanks for watching.